Hey guys, what's up? My name is Trix AK Nico, and today we're going to talk about the new enchantments and ultimate enchantments. Whereas, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, then make sure to stick around. Since it worked out that well on the last couple of videos, feel free to leave a like if you enjoy what you see, and even if I never did something like that, let's see if we can hit a like goal. Let's see if we can hit 150 likes on this video. And obviously don't forget to subscribe if you want to stay up to date with what's coming next. Lastly, I study software engineering and therefore know myself around coding, which opens a whole lot of new video ideas, but those would be non-skyblock related. Let me know down in the comments below what you guys think of a non-skyblock related video here and there to spice up the variety of it. Or if you guys think that, for example, something like this would need an extra channel. Alright, let's move on to the video. With the new dungeons update, they released a big yet untalked update for enchantments themselves. Enchantments have been an important part about Skyblock for as long as Skyblock exists. Enchantments like, for example, Telekinesis and Smelting Touch just make the game absolutely awesome to play because it takes away a lot of useless interactions such as smelting ore into ingots. For enchantments that are not found in regular Minecraft, I will from now on refer to them as special enchantments, and up until now they were pretty easy to overlook, since all of them were pretty easy to be obtainable and they were obtainable from level 4 up to level 6. This however changed drastically in a new update. But not only that, they added a new enchantment as well as an entirely new category called ultimate enchantments. Let me just quickly explain, ultimate enchantments are the exact same thing as the special enchantments mentioned earlier, except that you can only apply one ultimate enchantment onto the gear of your choice at the same time. This means you have to be way more careful in choosing the right one. The fact that you can remove or overwrite those ultimate enchantments is also a very important part that I'm going to be addressing later on in the video. So like I already said, this update was kind of untalked or not even mentioned anywhere, which was the idea behind this video. Let's begin with the new enchantment and the new changes to old enchantments. The dungeon update introduced a new enchantment called Rejuvenate, which as of recording this video is an enchantment that goes up to level 5 and increases your natural regeneration. Other than that, there was a big change to old enchantments that will probably change the future of Hypixel Skyblock enchantments in general. They added Scavenger 5, Smite 7, and things like Feather Falling and Infinite Quiver that go up to level 10. And since we now know about the fact that those books can be upgraded to become level 10 enchantments, here's the game changing factor that probably most of you already thought of by now. This opens a door for insane changes in the current enchanting system. Not only is the fact that you can now reach level 10 an insane new mechanic, but also opens possibilities as well as problems that come along with them. Those being the ability to, in the future at least, be able to get even more and even higher enchantments, but also creates the problem with existing gear that now would have to be overwritten or altered in some way because enchantments, at the moment, can't be removed from already enchanted gear. Since this is quite a big topic though, let me know down in the comments below what your thoughts on the new levels are, since if they actually would ever release these high numbers, that would basically destroy a lot of old gear, as at the moment of recording this, there is no way to clean up the enchantments on it. and upgrading would just destroy the item with these insanely high anvil use counts. Alright, now let's get to the newly implemented ultimate enchantments. Like I already said, there can only be one of them on each item at the same time, and they can't be altered or changed, which makes them a thing to really think of before applying them. With this said, here are the new ultimate enchantments that got added with the update. Combo, which grants you strength and crit damage for every kill in the last couple of seconds. Wisdom, which gives you an insane amount of intelligence per XP level. Last Stand, that grants you defense whenever you fall below 40% health. Ultimate Cherry, that basically makes the aspect of the cherry a somewhat viable weapon, boosting its base damage. Ultimate Wise, which reduces the mana cost of the item that this enchantment is applied to. No Pain, No Gain that basically gives you more XP for killing mobs. And lastly, Bank, which saves more money if you would die without a piggy bank on you. So let's get to the very important part that I softly mentioned earlier. As we now know, ultimate enchantments can't be changed and you can only have one of them on every piece of gear at the same time. Therefore, it is quite obvious that it is very important to think before you act. But with thinking, you might come up with the idea of, in the future at least, new enchantments being added, just like with this update. With this said, here is my personal list of good and bad enchantments since there isn't a lot to choose from yet but there might be a big change to them in the future. As we probably can expect more of them and therefore making up your decision as we speak is probably a thing you would want to rethink a bit. Armor wise, you have Wisdom and Last Stand as, in my opinion at least, the only viable choices at the moment since they actually help you with something. 
I get the idea of why they added no pain no gain since you can get experience orbs and that would buff wisdom which for example could be put on a different armor piece but since grand and titanic experience bottles are a thing I believe for this enchantment to be quite useless especially since the XP gain isn't really too big of a difference in the first place. And lastly weapon wise since there basically is actually only two enchantments those are exactly the good choices. Ultimate Jerry only applies for the aspect of the Jerry therefore it doesn't really apply to this category and with combo and ultimate wise I would recommend ultimate wise for weapons with abilities since it's one of the biggest buffs for all of them and yeah other than that you basically are left with combo for the others. And let me say the last time here don't rush ultimate enchantments since combo in my opinion at least isn't too big of a deal since it only accounts for mob groups and they probably are going to add a couple of new ultimate enchantments in the future anyways. Alright I hope you got a good look into the new secret update of Hypixel Skyblock and I hope to have given you a good impression of the pros and cons of this update. If you enjoyed it then please feel free to show it by liking the video as well as subscribe to keep up with what I'm doing and since this is basically it thank you very much for watching and have an awesome day.